Here I'm going to teach you guys the checking method instead of the shading, which a lot of professors might have taught you. Uh, shading is all good, but sometimes when you shade, it A, it takes too much time, and B, sometimes the diagram gets too confusing because there's so many, so many different things being shaded and such. So I found that instead, using this checking method is quite effective. So let's see how this works. So let's say I have the set A union B prime. This is a set that a lot of students have trouble with identifying on the Venn diagram. So here's what you do. The idea is just like shading, but instead of shade, we're going to check. So here's our A and B. So when we have a union, we're going to take everything that have one check and when we have intersection, we're going to take only the thing that has two checks. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so first we're going to deal with A. So we're going to check all the areas that's A. So instead of shading A, we're going to check this area and this area. Okay, so now this represents A and we also need B prime. So we're going to check the area that is B prime, which is the outside and also this area. So these two area represents the outside. So I've just checked it. So A union B represents any area that's checked once or twice. So here we have A union B prime. So now let's say we wanted A intersect B prime. So let me get rid of the shading real quick. Let's say we wanted A intersect B prime. So what A intersect B prime would have been would be when you have an intersection, you take everything that's checked twice because the intersection include things that are in both sets. So here A intersect B prime would be this little crescent shaped region over here. So let's look at something a little more complicated with three sets. So let's say I'm trying to find A intersect B union C prime with this checking method. So let me go ahead and draw the sets. Here we have A, B, and C. So first we're going to deal with the first part. And when you, if you have a parenthesis between uh, two of them, then you have to do that part first. Here, we, there's no specification, so the intersection have to go first, actually. Uh, or you can just work from left to right. Um, so here, A intersect B. So we want to know what's A. We, we're going to start with the set A. So I'm going to check everything that's in A. So these four areas. Now I'm going to check everything that's in B. So these four areas. And then we can see that this double checked area is the intersection here. At this point, I'm going to get rid of all the single checks because now we have identified, we've identified uh, A union, we've identified A, A intersect B. So I'm going to get rid of the other ones, so we can do the other, the other part. So now we want to do this part, union C prime. So I'm going to check everything that's in C prime. So this is C prime, C prime, C prime, C prime. So these four area is C prime. And now since this is the union, we're going to include everything that has either checked once or twice, or three times here in this case. So the result is going to be the outside and then this area. And so here like this. So again, you, if, you, if you feel more comfortable with shading, you can stick with shading, but check is a method that makes it a lot less cluttered 
and less clutter mean lower chance to make a mistake. And I hope you find this helpful.